Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Tanner and this is Claridge Leather. In this video, let's make something for the person who already has everything. You know that person on our list who, no matter what we dream up to buy for them, they probably either already have or could just buy it if they wanted to. Let's make them this ballet tray. It's kind of a unique shape, a little bit different shape than some of the others I've seen. It's a pattern that I designed and if you want to download the pattern and build this along with me, there's a link down below. We'll talk about the simple tools we need to make this. We'll go from start to finish and if this sounds like a project you want to tackle, let's dive in. thing we've got to do is figure out exactly where to place this on here. So I like to take the paper pattern and lay it right on here and then I'll take a scratch awl and poke right through on the dotted line. This is the stitch line. I'm going to poke a series of holes around there so that when we take the paper off we're going to have some dotted lines here and that will tell us just the exact location that we should glue it first and then stitch it. The next thing I'm going to do is put some snaps in here. If you don't have access to snaps or snap setters, you could use rivets or you could hand stitch this together or uh, Chicago screws or anything like that. If you haven't set snaps before, it's really pretty easy. You just need to invest in some basic tools for that. Probably the least expensive way to get into it are, are some snap setters like these. These are some hand setting tools and they work really well. You can get a little set like this and you need to get it for the specific type of snap that you'll be setting. Uh, these are called S spring snaps from uh, Buckle Guy. I'll put a link down below for all these tools and, and the snaps that I'm using here. Um, also, you could use a hand press like this one, and in that case, you'd need to buy the specific dies. So that makes sense if, if you're going to be doing a lot of these things. See, this fits uh, things I would normally carry in my pockets every day, but if you want to make a bigger tray, that's easy to do. Just in the printer settings, instead of scaling this at 100%, where it prints exactly on a 1 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper, you can scale it to whatever you want. You can do 150% or 200% if you want to make a really big tray. So you can experiment with that. That would print on a couple sheets of paper that you could tile together and just make a larger pattern. So don't forget, there's a link for this pattern down below if you want to give it a try. Maybe you're thinking to yourself, gosh, I'd love to make a wallet like this. Well, I've made a video for that too, as well as a pattern. So I'll put the link here for that video and you can tackle this wallet with me as well. Thanks so much for watching. Can't wait to see you on the next one.